A memorial is still in the works to honor the nine victims who lost their lives in a racist shooting at the historically black church in downtown Charleston. 21 year old Dylan Ruth sat in a Bible study at the Mother Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church before opening fire and killing those church parishioners in that racial attack. Right now there is a park honoring one of the victims, but another memorial is set to open soon. Our Abby Walton is outside of the church now and tells us where that project stands and how it will help the community honor those victims. Good morning, Abby. Yes, good morning, Shelby and Katie. It's been exactly nine years since that racial attack, and it's important to remember the nine victims. Now you can see the memorial construction here next to me, and I spoke to churchgoers who tell me that this memorial is important for new as well as current members to remember and grieve. Now the Emanuel Nine Memorial is planned to surround the church and consist of a memorial courtyard, fellowship benches, a names basin, contemplation basin, pathway to forgiveness, fountain, and a survivors and visitors garden. Now the plans were constructed by Michael Arad, who also designed the National September 11th Memorial in New York. And I spoke with Reverend Eric Manning, a senior pastor of the Mother Emanuel AME Church, who tells me the memorial will be built in a way where the fellowship benches can allow visitors to have meaningful conversations honoring and remembering those victims. From Mother Emanuel's perspective, we understand the, real, the reality of racism. We understand the reality of re, uh, reconciliation. Uh, and that, of course, is still very challenging. Uh, and getting to that whole aspect of forgiveness, which is that third key tenant, right? And forgiveness, as we said before, is not just a one and done, but it becomes a life uh, long lesson that we can all learn. So hopefully within the Memorial Foundation, within the community, within the congregation, uh, we will always be able to continue to grow and be better. Uh, because that's the whole aspect. We have to continue to grow. We have to continue to be stronger. And this memorial still needs around $7 million for phase one and phase two to be completed. Reverend Manning tells me he hopes phase one will be open to the public in spring of 2025. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Abby Walton for Live 5 News.